Welcome freshmen to this pre-modern world history introductory video on the timeline. You have already watched the video on how to write the research paper or the whole process of the research paper. We haven't gotten into the individual assignments and mechanics, but this is the first video on the individual assignment. So you're on the right place if you're working on the timeline. Page two of this PDF that you have received on Google Classroom gives the different topics here. And you should have already chosen which of these six topics you want to choose. You might not know a lot about the topic. That is why we are doing research. But you'll turn to page three where it says timeline. It's important for you to understand what's expected of you from your timeline. You can read that paragraph there if you want better understanding, but essentially it's super easy and maybe the best way to show it is by showing you an example. I've got an example timeline right here on Ronald Reagan. This is not one of the topics that you'll be able to choose from, but it's a good example. What you'll do is you will go into Google or your favorite web browser and you will take the topic that you are choosing and the word timeline. If you type in both of those to Google, you'll get a pretty good timeline that looks something like this. Now don't use Google Images, that will not be helpful. Uh, it's really important for you to actually go to a, a website and to copy and paste some events that happen. So the word timeline right here, along with the topic that you're choosing, Ronald Reagan is this, in this example, but for you it might be the Mongols, it might be the Vikings, it might be one of the kings like Charlemagne or Justinian, or it might be the Crusades, something of that nature. Dark Ages as well could be another topic that you're looking up. So once you have chosen the timeline of events that have happened, you also need to do something called uh, putting in the thematic elements, which is to label things as social, political, or economic. As you see right here, when dealing with any type of research assignment, it's very important to create a timeline to get kind of the overall ideas of the project. In history, we look at history two ways. We look at it either linearly, like through a timeline, or we also look at it thematically through things like social, political, and economic. So this will help you in understanding a little bit more of what you're going to be doing your research paper on. This is just the first process to kind of get your feet wet. So in short, you will take your topic, you will take the word timeline, clip that into your favorite web browser, find a timeline like this, and then for each of the events you will list, is it a social event, a political event, or an economic event? Social is something dealing with people. Political is something dealing with government. And economic is something dealing with money or trade things of that nature. So once you have uh, completed a timeline that looks something like this, but with your topic, you will submit it to Google Classroom and you'll receive a grade. Later on, we'll use this timeline and adjust the events and such to be uh, hitting just the thematical, the thematic notes. Uh, but that's for a later assignment. And don't worry if you don't want to use the, the uh, breakdown in your thesis of social, political, economic. This is just to get you started. Thank you and have a great day. Signing off.